What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Jet. And today we're gonna learn a ton of cool Canva techniques to help you design faster and improve your productivity. By the way, if you're new to my channel, welcome and feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Okay, let's jump right in. Tip number one, multiple links in a paragraph. Yes, you can add a hyperlink to more than one text on a paragraph. Just highlight the text that needs a hyperlink, like this, and then click on this ellipsis. Then select the chain icon that says link, and then just type your link. For example, Pinterest.com, and then hit apply, and do this again to another link or another text. Let's click on this, click on this icon, and, and then hit apply. So if you download this as a PDF, it will show all of those links. So just hit on download, and then PDF print, and then hit on download. Let's open our PDF. So as you can see here, you already have a, um, a hyperlink for this text and for this text. So it says here, this one's for Canva. And this one's on Pinterest. It goes right into it. You can go to another link and it goes right onto that site. So there you have it. Tip number two, resizing the outline of a shape. I'm a huge fan of thin clean lines. For example, this box with a thick outline. So there's no tool to easily change the stroke weight of any shape here on Canva. So what you can do is Click on any corner and just resize it all the way till you get the right weight that you want or like. Then you can make it to any size you want by dragging any of the borders like this. And you can make it bigger or smaller while still having those nice thin lines. And you can also use this trick for lines as well. Just plain lines. Tip number three, quickly add text using the text shortcut. So simply press T on your keyboard. Adding text is something you can do quite often, so knowing this shortcut should save you a few clicks. Tip number four, make text bold. Just press Ctrl or Command B. Tip number five, make text italic. For italics, press Ctrl or Command I. Tip number six, select all. If you need to select all objects, simply click Command or Ctrl A to select all, and then you can move them around as you like. Just like this. Tip number seven, duplicate objects or text. Easiest and fastest ways to select the text or the object and hold down the Alt key while dragging it. So you can also duplicate or copy and paste by using the Control C, Command C, and Control V, Command V, or highlight the text or select the text that or the object that you want, and then hit on this duplicate icon, and it will duplicate it for you. Tip number eight, add a drop shadow to text. So select the text and hold down the Alt key to duplicate it. And then change the color to either gray, black, or white. Just click on this one and then maybe change this to this color. And position it the way you want it. So send it backward by clicking on this position and then click on backward. There you go. And you can also change the transparency if you wish for more lighter effect by clicking on this icon. All right, there you have it. So the problem here now is the shadow text is behind the original text and this makes it hard to select it, which brings us to tip number nine, select hidden elements. You can do this by holding or by holding command or control click and then you can move it around or delete. Tip number 10, moving elements using arrow keys. So one arrow moves one pixel, shift arrow moves it 10 pixels. Tip number 11, group and ungroup elements. So highlight the elements or the text that you want to group and hit command and control G. Or you can also click this group icon or button here. Now you can move everything as one. To ungroup, simply click Shift, Command, or Control, G, or 
just click the ungroup. Tip number 12, change background colors. If you have a background on your page, click on it and you'll see a color box at the top menu. So if you click this, you can select the color and the background will change to reflect that color. For example, this, where you can do this, it changes. And this works for graphic backgrounds as well as photos. Tip number 13, save brand colors. While we're on the subject of colors, if you use the same colors over and over again, or if you have your own brand colors, you can save them so they become instantly accessible in the color menu. To do this, head over to Home and click on Brand Kit and just add your color here in Brand Colors. I already have one. You can add three colors in the free version and more in the pro version. So if you go back, and as you can see here, you can see the brand colors that I've added. Tip number 14, perfect alignment. You can get perfect positioning of elements or text by selecting position. Sample this and this. And if you hit position, and click on the alignment that you need. So this works for all of the elements on your page from text to graphics. And if you can see, they're not aligned. So if I click position and align left, there you go. Tip number 15, make a copy of your design for different versions. So if you want to make a copy or a slight change and see what it looks like while keeping the original, simply click on file and then click on make a copy there you go. Now it says copy of untitled and then just added the new version. You can rename it if you like so you can keep track of them. So let's go back to the original. Tip number 16, free photos. Get millions of free photos using the built-in apps from Pexels and Pixabay. You can find it by clicking more and choose either Pexels or Pixabay and then select your image. The choices are endless. Tip number 17, color palette generator. I personally love this. Just go to learn and then click on design or designing with Canva. Now the footer section, click on palette generator. And as you can see, it can automatically select colors from a photo and give you color codes to use like this one. You can upload your own image here. Or if you don't have a specific image to use and not sure which colors to go with, just use Canvas color palette ideas and there are tons of them. So as an example, if you like to use this color palette, all you have to do is click on a color. It says here copy. So you can copy this or you can also um, copy this code. Just click on this one. So it copies to your clipboard and go back to your project. Let's use this, change the color. And if you click on this color and then just copy it, and there you have it. Just paste it on this box. Tip number 18 is letter frames. This is another cool trick. If you type letter frames in the elements search box, letter frames, and then hit enter, you can find individual letters, this ones, that you can customize. So I'll show you a quick sample using um, my name just this and T. everything and just please ice them and then align everything Tidy up. There you go. Now I want to put some scenic images on these letters. So I'm going to go ahead to Pexels or Pixabay. Yeah, and I'm uh, going to look for a nice photo. Maybe this one. So you can use the same photo and just um, position it in the way you want it. Position them on the letter. And you can also use different images for different letters if you like. So play around with this feature. It's really cool. Tip number 19, finding gradients. So if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Gradients look really nice and it's not as well boring as solid colors. So just type gradients 
on the element search bar. As you can see, there's a lot of gradients and shapes here that you can use in your designs. You can use this as backgrounds or you can also change the colors if you want using the color options. For example, this. And you can change the colors here. So if you don't want that, you can change it to this. However, however you like, just play around with this as well. You can even use them on letter frames that we previously discussed are covered. So there you have it guys. Have fun creating designs and feel free to let me know what you think. I hope you've enjoyed and learned something from today's video and if you find this helpful, please share your comments below. I love reading comments and replying to them. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Keep watching, keep learning. Bye!